it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay y'all, today I'm super duper excited because we are about to be talking about an easy beginner friendly project on how we got this cute mama rhinestone template design from creative fabrica and made this dazzling bling and sparkling popping mama t-shirt with our bella canvas tee so i'm gonna show you guys how i created this and guess what cut it y'all our Caesar Romeo. Yes. I am so excited because this is the first time that my Caesar Romeo ever cut out flocks. So it's the first time, y'all. Let's see how this all turns out. So first I start with our materials. I will be using my Bella Canvas tee. This is 100% cotton and is a size large, just so you know. And y'all know if y'all want one, I will definitely have the links if you want to get you some of the best t-shirts out there under the video. So please use my link to order them because they are the bomb. My brayer and squeegee if needed. I will be using the baby's booties, rhinestones, SS10, black diamond, AB hot fix. I wasn't sure, but this is the color I will be using. It has the heating directions and everything on there. I will be using them at 350 for 15 seconds though today. I have my little handy dandy pen. I have a wonderful little brush. I have some KTM mask from Heat Transfer Warehouse, as well as my flock from Heat Transfer Warehouse as well. I will be using a pressing pillow, as well as a Teflon sheet with my HTV runt auto press i also have my tray from the dollar tree that i use for my rhinestones okay so now that that's all set let's go inside of caesar leonardo design studio and that's where we are right here we're gonna go ahead pull that file up so we go to file open i'm going to select svg i did get this as i stated from creative fabrica once inside of here, my import options, I don't want print and cut. I only want cut only. I'm going to select next and I'm just going to apply. The colors are white. So of course I have to change the color and guess what color I'm going to pick y'all. I'm going to pick a shade of pink. Of course, I'm pressing apply and now we see the design. These holes will be cut out because they're rhinestones and they are specifically for 10 SS rhinestones. And this is 8.661 inches in width and 4.781 inches in height. I'm going to select send design. The design is going to be sent to my Romeo right now and it's showing all of these. I'm leaving this artwork exactly like how it is. And then and now this is how it will be cut out and it does say Caesar Juliet right there but we're going to select Romeo once we connect it and we're going to go ahead and send that design just as it is to the cutter okay you want to make sure it's connected by wi-fi or by the usb but send that thing to the cutter and let's see how this cuts Okay, so just super duper excited about this. Gonna be the first time cutting with my Caesar Romeo. So let's see how it cuts. Look how fast and sleek and stuff it is. And I'm gonna let y'all just hear for a couple seconds. Cause if anybody's like me, I love hearing things sometimes. So we're gonna go ahead and let you guys hear how it sounds. <laughs> It's so quiet and it just sounds so sophisticated. We are at a 10 speed and the force is 65. And y'all see that little cut there? We of course did a test cut. And let's see how it all turned out, y'all. All right, y'all. Here is the moment of truth. I'm so nervous. To tear it off. For the very first time. Oh my goodness, it's my first time. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't uh brayer it down. One second. No, we just gonna keep going. 
So typically, you brayer it down so you can make sure they all in there. But we're about to keep pulling. Okay. Ooh, I think that's a good one. I think that's good, y'all. I think that is great. All right. First time ever. But I, I suppose uh -uh. I suppose to bring it down. But it's okay. I'm gonna cut around this. All right. So I'm taking my blade. And I'm going to use my cutting the bottom. And I'm cutting the top. Hopefully that, yep, it sliced it off. So now... Come on, baby. I can get it up off this template. Okay. And there we have it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. I'm going to cut the sass, too. First rhinestone flock ever with my Romeo. We did it. So I cut the excess flock off the sides and then I placed it on my cutting mat. You can catch this in my other video. I got this from the Dollar Tree. They're at typically a Dollar Tree. And you use these to save your templates for later. Okay, so you can check my other videos out for that. All right, so we are going to take this Bella canvas shirt. This, uh oh, let's. This Bella canvas shirt is 100% cotton, black. Of course, we have to lint roll and we have to pre-press it to get the wrinkles out and get the moisture out of the shirt so the rhinestones can adhere better. And we are going to pick our color for our rhinestones. I'm not sure which one I want yet, but we will decide in a second, okay? So, let our heat press... Go ahead and heat up to 350. We're going to press it 350 for 15 seconds. Okay, so my heat press is at 350 for 15 seconds. I have my KTM mask. I have my design template cut out. And I think I'm going to go with Black Diamond AB SS10. We're going to see if it goes in. And I'm going to go ahead and place this on my tray that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna peel this off. I'm going to place it in the middle. So that's the tip. Well, let me place it more straight. All right, I'm going to place it on the tray. All right, so I am going to be using the Baby's Booty SS10 Black Diamond AB Hot Fix. It says, for best results, apply with heat press 350 for 12 seconds. I'm going to be doing 350 for 15 seconds. And we are going to... This one. The rhinestones down. Take our brush. Circular motion them in. This is SS10. And I got this template from Creative Fabrica. The link will be down in the description. And you guys, I'm always skeptical when I don't do the templates myself. And even when I do do the templates myself, <laughs> want to make sure that it goes in perfect. And it's a true SS10. 
10. Everything is falling into place. You just circle and motion them in. And they go in pretty good, y'all. I hope you can see how nice and easy it's going in. Going in really good. Look at that. It looks so good. And so we can do one or two things. Pour some more on there. Oh, it's glistening. Or we could take our pen and go ahead and just put them into the couple dots. Couple spots. That they did not go in. Look at that. Easy peasy. Okay. All right. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and take our KTM mask. I'm going to have to move this over because I need more space. All right. So now we have everything in its place. It's sparkling and glistening. Everything looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and take the KTM mask off. It's extremely sticky. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just drop it down. Okay. Woo, I almost messed up down there. It was almost too short. All right. We're going to drop it down. And then I am going to... You can brayer or squeegee it, whichever one, but you want these down, okay, in the spot. So you can squeegee it or brayer it, whichever one you want. I almost messed up at the bottom, y'all, Woo! Oh! because I'm doing it from the side. All right, so now you have that, like that. A couple of these I may want to get in the right spots. Scoot them up. See that? Scoot them in a proper, scoot them down. Put them back in their proper places. And you can do that with your finger. You just make sure everything is right. All right? Make sure everything is in its proper spot. They got an extra one. But we good. Before you put on a shirt, you want to expect to make sure everything is good, okay? Okay. Once everything, y'all, we almost didn't get that bottom. Once everything is good, you peel... it up okay and there we go mama okay and you can take it was an extra one on here all right so now we are going to take our lovely black ballot canvas shirt and we are going to lint roll and pre-press it okay so we slide and it's all the way out. And you see it's black. You see the lint on there. Put my lint roller at. We got lint roll and pre-press this thing. So I am just lint rolling it. You want to make sure that all the lint is off of the shirt so everything can stick to it really good. I do fold my shirts and then I make sure that there's a crease in there. So I lint roll, I pre-press, then I make sure there's a crease in the shirt so it could be the middle of the shirt. I also have... Um, 
rulers t-shirt rulers as well but this seems to work really really good because every shirt is different and it's kind of easy you can see that in there so i am going to put a pressing pillow in here as well because the pressing pillow helps give a little bit more pressure it's not necessary but i just want to make sure y'all know i'm extra over here if you don't know i'm extra so i put a pressing pillow up under there as well so i can make sure that everything is nice now i'm going to take it off the table so we can see that line better all right so now i'm going to do three fingers from the collar of the shirt we know where the middle of the shirt is we're going to go ahead and align the three fingers in the middle of the shirt that line right there i'm going to go ahead place this down and we can squeegee or brayer it and go ahead, brayer it down. So now the shirt is down. The middle of the shirt, everything's on there. And we can tape it, but we technically don't have to tape it because this is brand new. It's very sticky, so it's already kind of taped. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put it on the heat press. Okay. So now we have the shirt on to my heat press i am going to go ahead and put this teflon sheet over so it can get even hotter it's going to be 350 degrees for 15 seconds all right that 15 seconds was quick in the mug okay so it's hot and we are going to go ahead and just let it sit for a second. I'll put the grayer on it again. Sometimes people press it again, but we're just going to let it sit. Make sure it's nice and inside of there. Then we're going to peel this bad baby off. So let's see what it's like, okay? And we saved this because we can use it again. So I saved that on there. And looky, looky. Ooh, we look at this sparkle. Look at it twinkling, glisten. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful, y'all. Look at that shirt. OMG. Yay! We did it. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's talk about it. You guys, I am so happy with it. Ah, it looks so good. It looks so good. Okay, y'all, this shirt is a really nice black shirt, but the light is so bright on it. So that's why I look like that. But this is popping. Okay, let me dim the light. Oh, sookie, sookie, y'all. Looky, looky. It looks so good. It was one extra diamond here I had to take off because I want rhinestone my bed. I ain't want that. But oh. But look how good that looks. You guys, I am so happy. So let's shout out Bella Canvas, the baby's booty. And I'll have her link as well as all the links down in the description for her buy-ins and buy-nows. Uh, Cesar Romeo, Create a Fabrica. They work together for the perfect team. Okay, so that was from the beginning to the end of how to make a rhinestone shirt from a template from beginning to end easy beginner friendly i hope you guys loved it i'm playing around with the lights y'all because i want to make sure y'all can see how this is glistening and popping okay it looks absolutely amazing and i'm so happy with it please drop a heart down in the comments if you love this video okay y'all and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group crafty queen dreamer we love it over there follow me on instagram do dream one is the handle tiktok do dream one is the handle and i love y'all did y'all know that i think y'all knew that anywho y'all be safe out there you hear bye